Pilot Game. Yes, mate. Hey guys, it is an absolutely cracking day. I hope the weather is going to be nice like this for the rest of the whole week. Um, I got my swag car for the whole week, touring round the uh, southwest of the UK. Top times. And we are on the road, Devon and Cornwall. Here we come. So, this is where we're staying for several nights. It's just so amazing, guys, honestly. Like we are in the UK. I know we're from South London, but when you head further out into the countryside, it's just absolutely breathtaking, honestly. Some of the some of the shots and the scenery that you're gonna see in the videos from this special, it's just breathtaking. So we're like staying in a castle for a few days. Yes, mate. Guys, like this is the place to be. So we're down in Cornwall, like pretty much as southwest as you can get in the UK. Um, I've heard it kind of feels like a little mini tropical paradise, but I'll let the video speak for itself. Who lives in a house like this? St. Ives 2019. Beach is like you're in the nicest part of Spain. The seagull, Britain's infamous pesky bird. So here we are, guys, St. Ives Bay. This is absolutely beautiful. I could be looking out here at uh, an ocean somewhere Mediterranean. The sea looks absolutely fantastic. Guys, so we're kind of having a relaxed week. We're kind of on the road and it's just absolutely incredible down here. <laughs> yes, mate! Get a Mario Kart arcade, guys. Um, I'll be my boy Yoshi. absolutely beautiful down here I'm keeping my feet dry I'm staying out of the sea but yeah it's it's amazing so guys the plants are just out of this world crazy like I've never seen in my whole life leaves the size of this I mean this leaf each leaf is almost as big as I am like it's like I'm in some kind of crazy jungle video game we're in the United Kingdom guys we're in the UK look at this have a nice little little close up in of uh, the size of the stalks on these things as well. It's incredible.
fighting! Full time! to the local aquarium piranhas these little red bellies would eat you alive man i have just been obsessed with sharks my whole life honestly these like black tip reef sharks they just swim around in packs just like following each other like they're on the hunt in real life proper proper cool now this is the stonefish very infamous look at the camouflage of this thing um, if it wasn't moving, you just wouldn't know it's there. Um, if you stepped on this out in the reef, the spines would shoot straight through your shoe, into your foot. It'd be super painful and would likely result in asphyxiation. Ah, oh, little terrapins, little turtles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, proper cute. Look at the little babies. Oh, that looks like a fish from Monster Hunter. Oh man, I just love being down in the aqua tunnel. It's proper awesome. Just chilling out, watching the sharks swim round. Other marine life. That big boy turtle is really cool as well. I don't think I've ever seen a turtle that big before. So relaxing just watching the wildlife. It's like seriously, seriously cool. So peaceful. Look at the size of that ray. That is absolutely like huge. He's just chilling. He's just gliding around. The thing, the thing with this aquarium, just look at the turtle, it's like so cool, but it looks like the aquarium tank here, although it's quite large, I swear it's just too small for some of the animals, like that turtle. It's just going round doing laps all day long. Don't know how I feel about that. Ah, the sun's just come back out for this video. So, in the distance, we've got Michael's Mount. It is Michael's Mount, isn't it? Sin Michael's Mount, there we go. So you have to time this when the tide goes out. And this uh, pathway that they've built, when it's a uh, low tide, you can cross all the way over to the mount in the distance. Uh, but I think we've only got a few hours before the ocean's going to come back in and then you're going to have to get a ferry back across if you miss it. And Gaz is ridiculously seasick, so um, that could be interesting. So we made it across to the castle. That was quite a steep climb up, but it's really amazing. Uh, the views are incredible here as well, seriously. Hold on to my hat a little bit. Hold on to my hat, it's a little bit windy, but wow, the views here are absolutely It, it's tightened, but the view up here is just incredible. Really windy, really windy up here. There is the path that we walked from the beach. Oh, I've even got to hold on to my phone really tight. Uh, that looks really far away. It's such a climb to get up here. Totally awesome. The views are breathtaking. <laughs> so there's a massive sound blooper on this beer because the wind was just absolutely howling 
louder than I've ever heard it before, and it just completely ruffled the sound, and all you could hear was the wind. But we were at Land's End, the furthest southwest point that you can go in the UK. I'm holding on to my hat for dear life because it's wanting to blow it off. But um, I had to keep this clip in just because it's awesome. It's fantastic. Um, so I thought I'd just voice over it instead. And then at least you can hear the vocals clearly. Going over the Tamar Bridge. These windows have picked up so much sand, dirt and bugs over the last few days. Pretty mad. I'm in the caves. Now I'm actually not allowed to record in these caves, so um, yeah, I voiced this over afterwards because I wasn't allowed to make any sound while I was making video in there at the time. Just got a few clips here for you. And we got Stonehenge. That is about as close as I've ever been to those Traffic infamous. <laughs> so we got Stonehenge in the distance. Check out the sights of Stonehenge. Apart from the cars that are kind of somewhat blocking my view, but that is pretty spectacular. That is the closest I've officially ever been to that infamous pile of rocks.